traveling down Highway 59 to the town of Wharton, the pace of life might seem a little more calm out here in the country. Let's go push it up, push it up. But on the hardwood, there is nothing slow in Wharton, where the Tigers play a frenetic, fast-paced brand of basketball. We like to get up and down. We like to press, we like to shoot, we like to, uh, to run. We're the running Tigers. Playing an up-tempo style, the Tigers have built one of the most consistent programs in the area, making deep playoff runs in each of the last four seasons. It's definitely, in the last few years, has been a, a serious tradition, and we're, you know, we're working to keep that going. We've had uh, four regional tournaments in a row. In the mix of that, we had three district championships. Last year, we fell short with a district runner-up, so the standards have been set. It's like a legacy that goes around here. Like, everyone heard of Warden. Everybody heard of our winning streaks and where we went to and how we like came from being sorry to like how we is now going to regionals year by year. The success the Wharton basketball program has had in recent years continues to cultivate more and more success with the passing of the torch from class to class. We strive to build a strong culture here where these guys rely on one another. They rely on holding each other accountable. We come in every day and we're trying to have positive energy lots of effort and we really want to work to make sure that we're striving to be the best that we can be every day. Those older guys still come up and support those guys that are in the program now and those expectations are that they, they continue the, the running Tiger tradition of winning and keeping the program running. Go to the floor, to the floor. This year the Tigers expect to have a tight-knit squad with a core group of players that has grown up together in this quiet community, forging bonds as teammates that could lead to Wharton making plenty of noise in March. We all like brothers, been hooping with each other since like fifth grade. It's fun, it's never a dull moment, like it's always fun, like we all grew up with each other, we like more than a family than a team. This is a real close group, we've been playing with each other ever since we was like fourth to third, third or fourth grade, we've been playing with each other ever since. Man, the chemistry is right, ever since we was in junior high, we were undefeated seventh grade year, eighth grade year undefeated. Ninth grade year, we was undefeated. We've been undefeated three straight years in the road. They've played together their whole lives. You can tell it, they have a sink on the court as well. They uh, take care of one another. They look out for one another. They're really, you know, a very close-knit group of, of players. After the disappointment of coming up short in the regional tournament the last four years, the running Tigers aren't shy about stating their clear objective, getting over the hump and finally advancing to state. It's all about March, but we don't get to March without going through these months and these tough times first, all right? We gotta mentally prepare ourselves and physically prepare ourselves. I'm trying to make it to stay. We made it to regional tournament like four years in a row since my eighth grade year. And then my freshman year we went, sophomore, junior. We're trying to make it to state this year. Real one.